Good afternoon, this is Shazan here. I'm, I've been in Ghana for a month now and um, I'm on a three month writer's retreat. So I've, I've kind of, this I thought would be the beginning of my journey in finding my roots. Uh, so rather than doing it the electronic way, <laughs> I thought, let me actually come. And that's, it's actually an integral part of me writing the sequel to my novel as well, Single, Spiritual and Sexual. Um, in the sequel, she does actually travel to Ghana. And she crosses the Middle Passage, but I don't want to tell you too much. Um, what I wanted to say was that I, when I got to Ghana, I was expecting to feel like I'd arrived home and I was waiting for that feeling and it never came so it kind of made me realize that Ghana probably isn't where I originated from I haven't seen people that look like me they're more shorter and darker and I've been thinking about all of this and thinking about the Africans that were taken from from the from the coast Cape Coast put on the slave ships and taken to the Caribbean islands and and to America and another thing I've noticed is um, the Africans it, their mentality the ones that are still here at least the ones that I've met probably because I've been more with the villagers their mentality is not as advanced as I don't want to say it in a bad way or anything, because I have met some really progressive brothers, actually, especially the ones that are organising my event. They're all doing their own businesses. and But generally speaking, I, um, I kind of just think the, one, the Africans that were taken to the West Indies and America, they became much stronger, much bigger, more mentally strong, physically strong, and... They evolved over those 400, over the last 500 years. Us, those descendants of those enslaved Africans, they became strong with what they endured on the ships and, and during their period of enslavement. They had to become physically and mentally strong. And we, the descendants, like me returning to Africa now, I'm not seeing that, the mental and physical strength that the, that the descendants of those Africans have. And so it's kind of made me think a bit more about who I am, where I'm from. And I did visit Cape Coast Castle and I did feel something more there than at Elmina Castle. And I, I'm going to go back on my own and really reconnect and really see if I can just find out on my own where my, where my ancestors originate from because they brought Africans from all over Africa to the Cape Coast before they were put on the ships. So my ancestors could have come from anywhere, not necessarily Ghana. So that's my next mission, really, is to, to discover where my roots are, which part of Africa. So I'm, I want to share, I want you to join me on this journey. And also, um, another reason I'm in Africa is to do some research for my book, my, my, the sequel to my novel, as I said. And in, in the first book, she discovered a secret, the secret to black male and female sex. And I'm thinking, well, it must have originated in Africa. So I'm seeking to find out a bit more about that as well. So I'm going to do some more videos and hopefully you'll join me on my journey. OK, I'm off to visit um, an artist that I met the other day. Uh, I'm going to take some pictures of his artwork, which he's going to be selling to a hotel later so I just wanted to see it before he handed it over so see you soon bye